Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon at the top of the page to get notified when I post a new video. Please give this video a thumbs up to help the channel grow. Universal Channeling Channeling the Conscious Universe for the New World Consciousness Mike Quincy, Channeling His Higher Self, March 8, 2024 Rather than time marching on, it is giving the impression that it is flying by, and for many there does not seem to be enough time to do all that they wish. It comes about because you have entered another time zone where the vibrations are lifting up. It is gradually changing things, and the lower vibrations are being weakened, and will gradually disappear. We have already told you that what has been hidden from your sight will be revealed, and indeed it is already happening. Matters that have been hidden away from the light are gradually surfacing, and being seen for what they really are. The negative forces are no longer able to do just as they wish without being accountable, and their activities are being brought to light. You are in what you might call, a waiting period, when the activities around you seem never-ending as the cleansing continues. Many deaths are taking place but as unlikely as it would seem, everything has been planned in advance. After all each soul has taken a life upon earth knowing what to expect, having already had a review of their likely experiences and accepted them. They have found their right place where the opportunities exist to play out their life plan. Karma can be cleared at any time and opportunities often crop up in people's lives. Some can be hard lessons to be learned, but once cleared need never come back again. The answer to most of them is to be positive knowing that if you fail it does not go against you. Human beings are prone to make mistakes but minor errors can often be immediately cleared. We have often made great efforts to help you get through such times but in the end it really is up to you. The human race is made up of so many different ones, each offering you unique experiences. So as you reincarnate you are certain to choose the one that best meets your needs. It is often why you feel a strong attraction to another race apart from the one you are with, telling you that old experiences still hold a strong attraction for you even if you cannot recall why. They affect you in one way or another in each lifetime, and it could even be as simple as your food preferences. The more you learn about life, and life after death, the more your eyes are opened, and your guides are sure to help you find the correct path for your development. It is of little value to run before you can walk, and you should find a suitable path that meets your needs. The beauty of religion is that it all contains some element of the truth, and you will recognize it for what it is. You could say love one and another, and treat all as your brothers and sisters, as you are all on the same journey and will eventually arrive at the same point of understanding. Some souls are not even ready to seek the truth and most have no expectations of life after death, but the truth will touch them and give a little hint that there is more to life than they believe. Clearly a change of thinking will start them wondering about life after death, and that could be the spur that they need to commence their journey home. How often do you hear someone say that there must be more to life than simply one experience, and nothing afterwards? There are many theories about the purpose of life, as it does seem to be pointless if you only live once as you would gain nothing from it whereas life after life clearly means experience gained that would help you evolve. Think what you like but the fact remains that as a soul you have eternal life. That idea frightens some people because they do not know what to expect after death of the body, but as we recently explained the first step is to rise up into the higher levels exactly as you looked upon earth. However, as the vibrations are higher, and you in an etheric body, you will quickly realize that you are young again. You will be what you think you are as far as your appearance and if you desire to look as you were on earth so be it but you would still be free of all ailments. It is the power of thought that reigns supreme meaning that you could think anything into being. Life after death of the body is another story completely, but bear in mind that those souls of a very low vibration do not have sufficiently high vibrations to be able to change them through the power of thought. Many are only able to exist in the darker regions but be assured that they still get guides who help them come to terms with their level of existence. They will have opportunities to incarnate again, and gain experience that may eventually see them rise up once more. You always have help on hand when you need it, dear ones, there is so much help and guidance available to you at all times, so never feel as though you have none, it is always there and much of the time you probably do not realize it. It is often those unexpected situations that are proving difficult that suddenly clear themselves from help being given that you are unaware of. Events that you talk of as miracles are the work of your guides who know what you need. Life is a lot more complex than you probably realize, yet it often passes you by without being noticed. For each incarnation you only carry forward the skills you need to meet your life plan. You are in fact a very experienced individual, and can take on any task we set you still, and deal with it quite easily. Of course there are the rare occasions when matters do not work out as planned, but the problems can usually be sorted out with the least damage. 
When you consider the amount of people involved in ensuring that the human race progresses, it is some surprise that having to continually fight against the negative activities of the Dark One's progress is made. The answer is that the strength of the light to overcome their attempts to delay matters ensures that they can only cause a minimal delay. In real terms you are well on track to move beyond the attempts to delay your progress, and the time will soon pass, and you will know for certain that your goal will be achieved. There is such a short period to go through before you can claim victory over the negative forces who will be called to answer for their previous activities. Like any other souls they will have to make good the damage they have caused before they can progress further. I leave you with love and blessings, and may the light brighten your days and path to completion. This message comes through my higher self, my God self, and every soul has the same connection to God. In love and light. Mike Quincy. Website tree of the golden light.com.